This is the Cushing Memorial Library and Archives at Texas A&M University. Cushing houses the Special Collections and Rare Books Library for Texas A&M and is home to many books, manuscripts, artifacts, films, historical records, and more. You can visit the library to conduct research using their collections, to study, or even just to explore their current exhibitions and artwork. Here is author Kristen Britton packing up her most recent donation to send to the library. Each box is carefully packed and includes a list of contents. It is then shipped to Cushing Memorial Library and Archives. Once the boxes arrive at the library, archivists and staff catalog each item. These are Kristen's manuscripts, copy edits, notes, and drafts, including her most recent novel, Winterlight. Her archives also include her student films, digitized and preserved by the university. This film was produced by Kristen while she was a student at Ithaca College. It is based on a play she wrote, which won a writing award at the college. The play is also preserved in her archive. Cushing is home to one of the largest science fiction and fantasy research collections in the world, encompassing thousands of books, monographs, and pulp magazines, including the archive of George R. R. Martin. Another notable collection is the Eduardo Urbina Cervantes Project Collection, which is the broadest Miguel de Cervantes and Don Quixote collection in the country. Cushing also collects materials related to British and American literature, U.S. military history, colonial Mexico, Texas history, LGBT history and literature, and the history and development of books and printing, among other subjects. Cushing Library's Special Collections and Rare Books Library for Texas A&M University, and the science fiction collection that I curate is one of the largest of its kind in the world. Um, in addition to the books and pulp magazines and fanzines and all kinds of different objects and uh, other materials in the collection, we have archival materials uh, for a number of authors. And one of the authors for whom we have archives, I am very happy and, and pleased to say, is Kristen Britton. Uh, Kristen has graciously donated to, to us a number of materials, including uh, manuscripts for many of her, her books and stories, uh, correspondence, publicity materials, um, fan-created materials, such as from the Dream Gathering, which a lot of you know about, and she's also given us many copies of her books. So, for example, this is the, um, the United Kingdom, the UK version of The High King's Tomb. This is the Polish version of Green Rider. Let's see, same. Same cover as you guys would see it in your versions of home. This is actually one of the really pretty ones. This is the Japanese version of Green Rider from 20, this uh, published in 2012. And um, it's really lovely. It's actually published in, in uh, two volumes. Um, a lot of, the, a lot of, a lot of uh, foreign books are published in multiple volumes. That is Kristen's original donation that she gave us. So that's got like her uh, early materials that she gave to us. Uh, so we've got the um, manuscripts for um, manuscript for Mirror Sight um, and a lot of her early stuff. Of course, several correspondence, things like that, associated materials. Um, so yeah, and she's given us other things, obviously, since then, her later manuscripts. Uh, Kristen is kind of an ideal donor because of the stuff. First of all, the stuff she gives us is lovely because it's her stuff and we love her work. Um, but also it's a good, it's an interesting variety of stuff. And that's always fun to see too. You really get a sense of what an author does and how far an author's reach stretches when you look at not just the text they create, but the stuff that inspires. You look at all the stuff that's been created because of her. You know, look at Madeline's art and Christina's music and, and, and things like that. And so that, the fact that she inspires other people to create, that's, that's a big thing for an author to do. Not every author does that, even authors who are really good and really successful. They, they don't always manage to do that, but Kristen does. So that speaks a lot to how wonderful and how powerful her work is. She's a beautiful writer. She's an important author. Uh, she means a lot to so many people. And those kind of authors, they, is, are their kind of stuff, their kind of materials are worth preserving so future generations can study them and study how they came to write.
sometimes it's direct. Sometimes I'll contact an author and say, hello, Joe Schmo, I really love your stuff. And I'll, I'll give a pitch why their stuff is important and why I think they should preserve the library. And so that's kind of a direct approach. Um, other times I, it doesn't happen enough. That would save me a lot of work. I get proactively approached by an author saying, hey, I heard you have, I heard you have a science fiction collection. I heard you have, you know, George R. R. Martin's papers. He's a big gateway. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a science fiction or fantasy writer. Um, would you be interested in my papers? That happens too. And sometimes it's, it's kind of a, a sideways way. So in Kristen's case, um, I hadn't actually thought about approaching Kristen at, at that time. But uh, Kristen and I have a mutual friend. Uh, she is also a writer named uh, Jeanette Kathleen Cheney. And Jeanette, whose papers we do collect, came to me, came to me and said, um, hey, I have this friend, Kristen Britton. She's this really great fantasy writer. And you, would you think you would want her papers too? So I said, well, let me, let, let me check. So I went and like read Green Rider, which I admit I had not read at the time. I read the, oh yeah, I read it. I thought it was brilliant. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. So then uh, because of Jeanette, I got in touch with Kristen and we made contact that way. So there are different ways to approach this. Uh, so Kristen has been kind enough to give us all of these materials to add to our collection, um, which I'm very grateful for uh, because I am like you, I'm a fan of Kristen. I love her work and it is my honor to be able to collect it and to store it. So a few generations of you and people like you can come and look at her materials, can study them, can write on them. Can, can do, you know, can interact with them generally to see how Kristen evolves text from the ideas in her brain to what you actually read in the book. Yes. Everything that we show you guys, you are allowed to come see, um, to access. Obviously, there's some exceptions. For example, you can't come look at the manuscript material from Winter Light until the book is published. If you are interested in researching using their collections, you can register and make an appointment to visit the library. Materials are reviewed in the Kelsey Reading Room. No appointment is necessary to visit the exhibitions on the first and second floors of the library during business hours. More information about the collections available at the archives can be found at cushing.library.tamu.edu.